All right, Salim Rezaia here, and I want to talk about a paper that was published a few years ago called The Censor Trial. And when it first came out, it got a ton of publicity, but I don't ever hear anyone talking about this strategy in our septic patients or patients in shock. So first of all, what did they do? So this was a randomized clinical trial at a single institution, 300 patients with septic shock, and they compared the early use of norepinephrine compared to placebo. Now, their primary outcome was shock control rate by six hours, which they defined as having all three of these things. So a mean arterial pressure greater than or equal to 65 millimeters of mercury, urine output that was greater than or equal to 0.5 mLs per kilogram hour for at least two hours, and then a greater than or equal to 10% decrease in lactate. And here's what they found. The early use of norepinephrine in these patients had a number needed to treat of four by six hours. Now, a few things about this paper. So first of all, this is a monitor-oriented outcome or what Ken Milne of the SGEM likes to call a moo. But what we really want is a patient-oriented outcome or a poo. And so one of their secondary outcomes was 28-day mortality. And there was a trend toward improvement in 28-day mortality in the patients that got early vasopressor therapy. So how early did they actually get this medication? Well, when we look at the sensor trial, the time of arrival to the time of medication was 93 minutes. Now, if we compare this to the sepsis trilogy, which were these three massive randomized clinical trials, process, promise, and arise, you can see that people got fluid resuscitation and in the order of 160 minutes until they got vasopressor therapy. So this is significantly faster than what we've seen in previous trials. One cool point about this study is that the use of peripheral vasopressors was in over 50% of the patients. And the good news is there was no difference in extravasation rates, which to me proves the safety of this with the right type of IV in the right patient. So what do we do with all this? So I kind of wanted to create a construct. And so we have a patient that comes in and we diagnose them with septic shock from whatever source. So we'll start our 30 cc's per kilo of fluid resuscitation, or we can do a passive leg raise and we can look for fluid responsiveness. Now in patients that are fluid responsive, by all means continue giving the fluids, but in patients who are not fluid responsive, this is the patient population we might wanna consider starting early vasopressor therapy. So what's the clinical bottom line of this study? Well, the first thing is that peripheral vasopressors are relatively safe, and I, I think the evidence bears that out. And then in select septic shock patients, especially the ones that are not volume responsive, consider reaching for early vasopressors. It may make a difference in your patients, but again, we have to take that with a grain of salt. The outcome was a monitor-oriented outcome and not a patient-oriented outcome, but we do see trends in the secondary outcomes of patient-oriented benefit. Let me know your thoughts, questions, and until next time.